Do you want to experience more gratitude in your work and life? Today, I'm sharing a really great resource to help you do just that. First of all, did you know that our brains cannot respond to anxiety and gratitude at the same time? It's an either or situation. Obviously, we don't want to feel anxious and stressed, but this is when we get to become very self-aware and recognize when we are feeling that way, there is something that we can do about it. There's something that we can do to really help get us out of that state and into a state of gratitude, especially when we're working on our dreams, we have big things in our lives that we want to do, and we might feel anxious or stuck. When we put ourselves in that sense of gratitude, it helps us move our emotions in a different direction to really push us forward in our dreams. About a year ago, I found this really great journal. Now, I journal all the time anyway in just a random notebook, but I found this five-minute journal. And I really love it because it makes journaling really easy. If you're not a journaler or don't want to invest the time to journal for 20 minutes a day or whatever it is, this journal is so helpful because it gives you prompts, very easy prompts that you can do every single day. And in the morning, you fill out three different sections. One is, I am grateful for, and you fill in the blank of three different things that you're grateful for. The second is, what would make today great? And then the third is a daily affirmation. So you get to fill this in. It, it really is a five-minute journal. It takes five minutes or less to fill this out. And I especially love what would make today great. What would make today great? This puts us in control of our day. We get to decide if I get these three things accomplished and nothing else, then I know that today was a good day. This way, when all these other things happen that are outside of our control or we didn't finish our to-do list completely, we know as long as we get these three things done, this is the priority. We get to focus on these things first. And then the daily affirmation. I love this one because we can almost pick, maybe it's a word, maybe it's a phrase, maybe you're getting ready to do a presentation and your affirmation is, I am prepared, I am confident, I am ready for this challenge. Whatever that affirmation is, that's gonna help you with whatever it is that you're doing that day. So that's all, you just fill that out first thing in the morning done and you're prepared for your day. This also gets you in that state of gratitude for the day because we have to write down those things that we're grateful for. We know that gratitude is a great practice. We know that we should feel grateful for the things in our lives. And when we start to do that, we list off, I'm grateful for my family and my friends and my team members and the roof over my head and the food that I get to eat and all the things that we absolutely should be grateful for. After we share those thoughts, then we have to dig a little deeper. So the challenge becomes, how can you continue to be grateful for new things every day? To not just list the same things over and over. To notice other things in our lives that we get to be grateful for. And it can be the smallest thing. It can be, I am grateful for the beautiful sunrise that I got to see on my morning walk or a great book that I discovered that I just absolutely loved and made an impact in my life and I'm so excited to share it. Or maybe you're so grateful that you learned something new or you're grateful for the woman who checked you out at the grocery store because she smiled and really brightened your day. What are those small moments that we take for granted, that we miss? because we're not focused on gratitude and all of the things in our lives that give us those little boosts of joy, those little boosts of energy, those small little things. So when you fill this section out, challenge yourself to come up with new things that you're really grateful for, things that you might not be noticing in your life. So that's the start of the day. At the end of the day, you get to take this journal out once again, and now it asks you two questions. The first is highlights of the day and you get to put three highlights of the day. This immediately puts us in a sense of gratitude because we're thinking about all out of everything that happened in the day, some good, some bad, some indifferent, but then we get to decide what were the highlights? What really made today great? Now, some days they're gonna be huge, incredible things that happened that we are so excited about. And other times it's gonna be small little moments 
that we're just grateful for. Like a highlight of the day could have been that you got a text message from a friend you haven't spoken to in a while. Or maybe you made great progress on a project that's not quite done yet, but you're so excited about the direction that it's headed in. What are the highlights from your day? It could be personal, professional. I usually have about two professional and one personal highlights of the day just because most of the day I'm spent at work. Uh, on the weekends, it obviously is probably different, but this really helps me think through my day and recognizing what I'm really excited about. And the next question, what did I learn today? I love this one too because this reminds us to constantly be learning, learning and growing. And I, it is, the question is, what did I learn today? But I sometimes think about it from a standpoint of what did I relearn today? Because how many of us have relearned lessons in life, but you're in a different place in your life. So it means something a little bit different. And so when we get to document those things, it's really beautiful. And one of the reasons why journaling is so powerful is that when you've filled up a journal like this, you can go back and see the progress that you've made over the past year to see, hey, what did you learn throughout the year? What were some of the things that you were really grateful for? What were some of the highlights? And they bring you back to that state of how you felt when that happened. So this is a beautiful way to not only remain grateful, but it also is such a way to document where you were, where you are, and where you're going. In the journal, they also have weekly challenges, which are so fun and push us out of our comfort zone a little bit and encourage us to, to do things that we don't normally do on a regular basis. And they also have really beautiful quotes from people. So I'm going to share one of the weekly challenges. I just flipped open to any page and here was the weekly challenge for this week. Boost someone else's confidence and give a genuine compliment to someone you see, talk to, or think about today. Love this. Give someone else a compliment. So easy. And sometimes we might think, oh yeah, no, that's no big deal. But how often are we doing it? And what I really think is fun about these weekly challenges is that you might really love one or two or a bunch of them, and you might add those into your daily practice. Because all of the things that are shared in this journal are to help us live with more gratitude to become a better version of ourselves because we're focused on what are we grateful for, what would make today great, having a daily affirmation, and coming back to the highlights of the day and what did we learn. What I really appreciate about these kinds of resources is that it's simple stuff. It reminds us that while there are many things in life we cannot control, there are many things that we can control, and it puts us back in the driver's seat of our work and our life. I am going to put a link to get your own five-minute journal, and I'll put that in the description below, so check that out. And let me know if you use it and if it does enhance your gratitude when you're going to the office or in your day-to-day -day life. I would love to hear if you like this journal as much as I do. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please like it and also share it with someone who needs to hear this as well. Let's get... Let's get lots of people feeling that sense of gratitude in their work and in their life. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so for more content to help support your personal and professional growth.